So these are the Mustang Mountains all the way back to there. Somewhere back in here, and we're going to go exploring today, is a rune cave. And like allegedly some Viking from 1200 or whatever found his way back here and left some runes in there. Um, you know, markings, whatever they are. Uh, it turned out that it was a hoax, obviously, but the cave itself has petroglyphs, hieroglyphs, and all of that. We don't know exactly where it is, so we're going to go back in here and explore. I'm basing where we're going off of what I've seen from other videos and other landmarks, little clues. We're going to see if we can find it. So we're in the Mustang Mountains. You can see right here we're at the, I'd say the southern end of them. Um, I can't remember if that one, this here, is Northwest Dome. There's another one, or it's the Mustang Mountains High Point. It's the two down, one, two, three, it's the fourth peak down from Route 82. And we're in here few gates in headed back to the mountains you can see all our cows watching me talk over there now in here there's supposed to be well there is a rune cave that was hoaxed by some local uh to be a dead viking's grave or something but anyway it's up here it, you have we have to go through this gap so we're gonna have to hike our way up here get across there around the back and find it up there so we're gonna make our way up there and hopefully we're in the right place so here we go Here's where we're going, right up here. Now it could be over there, but I'm pretty sure everything I saw was this here. Okay. So we're gonna head down, around, up and over. So there are trails here, on and off. Just kinda gotta bushwhack your way through and avoid the scrub. But right there is where we're headed. First point, right there. And we'll uh, see how it goes from there. So you can see here, maybe, maybe not, but right in here and over there and there and stuff. And all through here, there's a bunch of uh, clothes and backpacks and stuff. Now, why illegals would be up here, I don't know, but could be from when they were doing the lookout thing here. Or, you know, I don't know, maybe it's a good hiding spot, but... Seems like a little bit rigorous if you're just trying to get up the road, but that's what's down there. But you always got to be vigilant out here because you never know what or who you're going to run into. Yeah, there's, there's some more right there. I don't know if that's the trail right there, but we're going to take it. Looks like some type of a trail. So this over here is the backside of Spire Peak. And then this right here in the forefront is Mescal Peak, not the rock with all the striations. And this here is Granite Peak. And then out in the distance, way out there is Rincon Peak. And like I said, that's Northwest Dome or Mustang Mountain High Point, I think. I don't know about the Mustang Mountain High Point. It could be Northwest Dome. And then these, this one, I don't know what it is. And that's where we are. And looking out there, out here in the distance, is a ranch. There's cattle all through here. A nice tank right there. So it's a nice, definitely nice and quiet spot. And our 
Jeep is right down there. Haven't really covered a lot of vertical distance, but we've done quite a bit of, you know, scaling. This is this is pretty pretty steep. So very steep. Yeah, Come, coming down will be a little bit of a challenge. Here we are getting towards the top of the saddle, starting to flatten out, get a little easier to traverse. All right, so whew, this is the western end of Fort Huachuca over here. And these are some houses like in Elgin. Sonoida is off in that direction there. Now the path goes this way, which is about right with the clues I was picking up. So that's the way we're gonna go. According to the stories, it's pretty sketchy, so hopefully we can uh, not get hurt doing this. So we're just gonna follow the rock face. Take your time. Well, it's not as bad over there as it is over here. It's pretty flat once you get down there. You got a little bit of a ledge, so you won't Homer Simpson your way all the way down. There you go. You can see the runway, or a runway over there. The Sierra Vista Airport, which is part of Fort Huachuca. It's pointing right at us. You probably can't see it in the video, but. Now we're on the hot side of the mountain. Makes you kind of dizzy looking up. Yeah, well it'll do it to you, so don't look up. They were saying that this part was like real sketchy and steep and it's like this part's easy compared to that other part we just did. You know? Yeah. I mean, you could still fall and tumble your way down, but just There's a little carve out there. Yeah. Kind of cool. Yeah. Like a place for bats? Uh-huh. All right. Like cool. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Okay. I think this might this. No, it's a different one. I thought I saw hieroglyphics, like you know, uh, native writing, uh -huh. and they might be here. But a couple more caves for you, or breaks in the the rock. Anyway, right there, and then that one I thought I saw writing, so it kind of fooled me, but. Just a little cave. There's a little tiny cave, little holes. Yeah, all over the place. Yeah, neat. Make it think it's right there. See the big cave? I think that's it. And if it's not, it's another great big cave. And here we are. Let me just make sure there's nothing in there. Yeah, the Viking Rune Cave. And here's your Viking Runes right here. So. Some left, you can see some hieroglyphics here. What's left of them, I think that's probably what that is. Or petroglyphs, or hieroglyphs, hieroglyphs Egyptian. And then, you know, then you wonder how much of it's just graffiti too, because 
the guy that forged those, you know, he just came in here and did it too, but then the cave, if you're a spelunker, you want to climb in, you could probably get in there, but. Is this a volcano? I, I don't know. There is volcanic stuff around here, I think. Because this looks volcanic. Well, I think they probably had fires in here. See, look. I mean, it just looks... Oh, yeah. It looks volcanic. Yeah, they probably hid out in here, too. Yep, and then here, here are the actual runes, or what, the fake runes that brought the... I don't remember if it was National Geographic or Discovery Channel. One of them did an expedition out here. They had all scientists and all that other stuff. Yeah, people are crazy that they go in these cave spaces. Yeah, you, yeah. The dog turds here, so hopefully it's dog dog and not wolf dog. And the funny thing is, is that this thing says some common thing when it's translated. So it's not like it, I can't remember what they said. They did that, like I said, they had that expedition that came out here and they did a whole bunch of stuff. And anyway, somebody ended up translating it, but you look, there's other people trying to carve, I don't know, looks like rune type things. And then oh. 1230. You know, and then these here, these are probably more like the petroglyphs. And then some of those, like that one, would, I'm not an expert, so well, let's not even pretend. Yeah. But that thing that looks like a wheel and all of that, I think that that's probably something that happened after. Although some of the swirls and all of that, people trying to make <laughs> stuff look like what it's not and all of that. But it's very cool. Twelve thirty. Yeah, and there's lots of stuff. The camera picks it up more than my eye does. Hey, watch out. Be good, buddy. All right. Gorgeous Southeast Arizona. They get dizzy looking up at these things. So now we're going to go ahead and leave the rune cave, never to come back again. Yes, we will. I don't know. We're going to try it a different way. There is no different way. But we'll see. Anyway, that's the rune cave.